My name is Orestes Omran. I come from Athens, Greece, and I went uh, to the University of Chicago Law School to do an LLM there the previous academic year, 2010-2011. Uh, the United States was kind of a dream for me. You know, it is. You know, in, in Europe, you know, we all we all have this perception of the States being like, you know, the, the, uh, you know, the, the most important country when it comes to academia and when it comes to universities. So I always wanted to go there. It was quite distant, so that was challenging. Uh, yeah, since I was young. And uh, why an LLM? I mean, you know, when you are doing law, you ba basically it's like the, the rational step to take after after your basic law law studies. You know, to to do an LLM and specialize somewhere. And like, you know try to to try to develop your skills in law and that's 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 really interesting actually so the story was that I had applied for like uh, four universities I got admitted in all of them and um, what happened is that uh, actually University of Chicago was like a very you know very famous law school in the states it has like you know a particular a particular you know legal culture related to it and um, I was also advised by the Fulbright Commission to actually you know do, do this do, do the Chicago thing you know it was was you know quite interesting and uh, yeah I mean it's one of the top law schools in the state so uh, definitely you know I think the choice was worth it. Uh, I think I would I would define the, you know the application process kind of independent uh, I mean related to to other things you had done of course you should have like excellent academic qualifications but you know it's you and yourself and you apply to the universities you tell them your story and you're and the, you're waiting for them to, to you know to get back to you uh, and that's quite challenging because you, you get to see you know uh, your 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 value in, in the system so it could be considered as a learning process uh, because you know when when you do your first application I think that you know you kind of develop your skills while you are actually going back and seeing that you're like oh no I didn't do that right in the next university I'm gonna do it better so yeah it's a learning process like you know broadly defined um, yeah but 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 I mean it's uh, it's also a process that leads like to maturity when it comes to, to you know to the importance of doing that so um, if you are convinced about doing that then you definitely have to learn a lot of things when, when it comes to the applications basically what what you have to do for when you apply for the American University to take the TOEFL exam uh, and you, ha I mean, depending on the university, you actually have to, you know, to achieve a particular score. Uh, so I did that, you know, I followed this procedure and, you know, it went well. I mean, I think, I think, I think the most important thing I use, I, 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 I usually tell my friends uh, when it comes to my experience to the States is that it, it changes your way of thinking because, you know, you, you, you come f so far away from and then you go into a classroom uh, to, along with like American JDs who are like native speakers and you have like to compete in a, in a, in a very you know, um, you know fair uh, sense uh, with them and you have to understand what they are saying and you have actually to, to also argue and you have actually to be a part of the class and um, that's actually uh, that's actually quite challenging and it's very difficult in the beginning and uh, um, as, as, as soon as you learn to, to play the game to play with the rules of the game then you change the, your way of thinking because and, and when it comes to law this is very important uh, of course if we, if, if we of course take into account you know the whole difference between the civil law system and the common law system uh, strictly legally speaking there is there is there is a vast difference and um, yeah, I learned. I learned. I kind of learned to 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 argue and to think as a common lawyer, uh, although my background was completely related to civil law. So yeah, that, that's 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 a great development. But uh, it also changes your character. I mean, you know, it's um, uh, it's a life changing experience because you have to adapt to the American society. You have to actually, you know, uh, live in a different place with people that you didn't uh, know before and uh, I mean especially for those people like me that haven't actually done that before they haven't they hadn't like lived abroad before this is really 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 important and uh, yeah you know from every perspective it's a, it's a life-changing experience you may want to think actually that there are like you know great differences uh, which is quite true because you know it's it's a completely different mentality but um, the American for example are, are, are equally warm to Greek people and they are very hospitable and uh, whenever we had the chance to actually meet American people's uh, people sorry and not not only of course our professors and the people in the university but like Americans from the society they were they were really really warm people and they actually tried to help us and they and they were always amazed by the thing we were doing because they were like you know it's kind of uh, you know difficult for us to do that also and you know it's uh, you must be feeling like home here and we're gonna try to help you and that's very nice because it reminded me of Greece and I, I mean and one of the things also I tell my friends is that you know um, 
I there was there was uh, at no time I felt like a, like a foreigner in the states. Uh, probably because I was, you know, in, 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 in I was in campus. I was on campus. I was, you know, in a, in a, in a, in a broadly, in, in, in a non-broadly defined society. So I didn't get to actually live, like, you know, and go and work in the states. But still, it's it's really important because, you know, it's it's very di it's very difficult. It's like Greece is so far away, and uh, yeah, there are many common things. And I mean. Um, I think there, 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 there is, you know, an, an, an interrelated influence between the two countries. So, of course, Greeks are influenced, you know, not only because of the cinema, but because of politics, because of uh, uh, history, because of many, many things by the Americans, and vice versa. The Americans actually have been influenced uh, in some terms by Greeks. You know, the Greek, the Greek culture, democracy, um, the, the, the Greek cuisine, you know, the, 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 the Greek food, the whole, the whole, the whole spirit of Greece. Uh, I think that the Americans, you know, I mean, have a good perception of what Greece is, and uh, that's, and uh, I mean, I hope I contributed to that by my, <laughs> by my presence there. Αν θέλετε να πάτε στην Αμερική για μεταπτυχιακές σπουδές, να το τολμήσετε, διότι πραγματικά αξίζει.